everything Ben Blazin touches, watch it and then watch it again and then watch it again. I just praise God I made it through. Hey, what's up, man? I'm Prophet, P-R-A-F-E-T. Man, I'm here uh, with Ben, Blazing Creations. Man, about to just get into, you know, a little dialogue. You know, I'm here to answer some questions. Yeah, so Prophet, man, I, I got the name uh, Prophet because, uh, uh, you know, for me, a, a name represents, like, who you are, what you stand for. And, you know, what I stand for and who I am is a person who's designed to deliver a message you know and you know we know people as prophets you know and they're supposed to be you know mouthpieces for God and I believe that that's what I am but not necessarily that I'm you know um, not necessarily that I'm like you know super unique or or anybody that's great it's just that I've learned in my life to surrender my mouth to God so that I could be that mouthpiece so prophet like I said it's an acronym for providing revelatory answers from eternal truth. And, you know, I got it because really, man, it was given to me more so than I picked it, you know. So it wasn't really something that uh, tied into, you know, a particular lifestyle or anything like that or nothing I just came up with or I was trying to figure out some cool name or something like that. It, it had nothing to do with that. It was really a name that was given to me um, as the type of representation I'm supposed to live out. I used to be at war on the side with the devil Involved in them streets, I played real life Halo. My call of duty was the call of my hood. I was always in jail, so I knew it wasn't good. Man, the way I first got into music is kind of real, like, it's, it's unique and it's different than a lot of people, I believe, because really I never pursued music. Um, and the way I really got into music is because I learned and came to understand that music is actually a tool and you can use this tool to deliver messages, which people do all day long. Um, it's different type of messaging that comes to us through music. Some of it's good, some of it's not good, some of it's horrible. And I'm not talking about the music itself, but I'm saying the message is projected through it. So I got into music um, for that reason, because I understood that it was a tool. Now, I've been writing the majority of my life, but my writing were really just journal entries. They weren't necessarily like songs to me. They were just like, hey, this is what's going on in my life right now. Hey, in this season of life, this is what I'm talking about. You know, hey, I'm going through this situation. I feel like this, so I'm going to express it. And what happened was with me, um, I, I, I came from, I came through, uh, you know, a, 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 a real uh, lifestyle that was detrimental to my own being as well as a lot of people around me, you know. And when I came up out of that stronghold or that bondage that was on my mind that I got free, what it did was, it allowed me to have a message to help other people get free. So I, when I understood that music was a tool, I began to pick it up to use as something to convey a message that like, hey man, you know, a lot of these things that people talk about, you know, majority of the stuff, it is lies because, you know, when you glorify wrong, um, knowing that wrong ends in a bad place, then really you tell a lie. So I just highlighted the truth of it because me doing wrong actually landed me in a bad place. And I gave up a whole bunch of years of my life in prison because of it. So now it's like I'm out and I've been writing my whole life. And I feel like that's a gift that I received was to write and formulate words and put them together um, to deliver a message. So now it's like, man, let's put some music behind this so that it becomes like easier to digest. I was always in jail, so I knew it wasn't good. I've been on them blocks and I've been in them spots, in them hotel rooms, setting up shops, selling rocks. For me, um, having a particular song that resonates with me, I, I don't really believe I have a particular one. Because like I said, the music I do is really all journal entries. And because it is a journal entry, because it is a part of my life, every single song has a place in my life. So they like all resonate with me because they're actually stories. Like, I, I don't do the uh, traditional music where people, you know, like, I don't knock it because that's what people do. But for me, I just don't personally, like, I don't come up with concepts like, oh, man, let me make a song about this. Or, or man, I got this idea for a song. It's just like, man, I feel something. I'm moved. And as I move to do it, man, I just put the pen down and write. And it's, it's really, like I said, journaling. So it's not necessarily like I, I end up coming up with the title after the song. Like I gotta see what I wrote about and what the, what particular season of life I'm expressing and what I'm doing, and then I come up with the title, you know. And so, 
So I wouldn't say that there's like a particular song that resonates with me the most. It just depends on what part of my life I want to expound on is the song that'll go with it. I would say the average person, um, and I'm saying this because of like the lifestyle I live right now today, and, uh, and if I encounter people today, the way I speak, the way I talk, um, the way I communicate, the way I engage with people, um, people would probably never know that I spent 10 years in prison. People probably would never know that um, I was in and out of the county jail majority of my life. People wouldn't really know that although I'm from the streets and I gang bang, I was raised and grew up in jail. A lot of people wouldn't really know that. Um, and I say that again because of who I am today. People wouldn't even think that. You know, I got tattoos and stuff like that that kind of might tell on me, but people really wouldn't know. And, and, and so, because because I, I believe that I'm like a completely different person than who I was. So people encounter a person that they would never believe was incarcerated the majority of his life. Guns and robberies, different females through the week. These worldly passions shook my life and took the lead, which made my soul bleed because of my iniquity. So I really understand you, so understand me. A positive for me was this. Um, everything leading up to it, of course, was negative. Um, obviously, because I mean, I ended up, you know, in prison. So everything that led up to that was a negative thing. But the reality um, was, was for me personally, man, I needed it because on the streets and in the world, people are so busy that they don't have time to think. A lot of people respond, a lot of people react, and in that there's no thought process. But when you get sit down and you're stationary, without the busyness of life going on, you ain't got nothing but time to think. And then you start to realize and remember that you have a mind that actually works. And when you start putting your mind to things, then you start to see things differently. You start to hear things differently. So for me, man, it's a huge positivity that came out of my jail sentence. And really, to be honest, is because in jail I met God. And when I met God, I'm not talking about, you know, I met religion. I'm not talking about I met Christianity. I'm not talking about I met a church. I met a pastor. I'm talking about I met a divine being that, man, redirected and transform my life by applying his principles. So all that time I did in prison, it allowed me to dig into the principles of God, understand them, apply them, see results, so that at the end of all them years, I came out completely different. When you live like the world, that means you're living with disease and you're gonna stay sick until you believe what you can't see. One or two things that I'm doing that would I, I would consider making the world a better place is, I believe with all my heart that the world can't be a better place without God being involved. Um, if you have a manufacturer of a product and everybody that gets the product um, misuses it, the product becomes defective, right? And the only way for the product to become better is the manufacturer, the one who created it, has to get involved in order to show the people how it works, how it's supposed to function, and so that they don't break it again. So the only way for me in my belief system that the world can be a better place is if we, the products, go back to the manufacturer to get fixed. And that is God. And so what I'm doing um, in connection to that, that I believe I'm doing to help is, man, I'm trying to run around in my daily life and introduce people to the God that changed my life. That's one thing. And one particular thing that I've done um, that in doing that is, I, like I said, I, I came out of jail, I came out of prison, and I've been back to prisons to actually speak to people who are incarcerated and give them the same hope that God gave me. When you're moving fast, you're more likely to get in an accident than you are when you're moving slow. So I would tell people to slow down, man. Life is not a race at all. Um, pace your life, pace your steps. Um, pay attention to where you're going. Um, and I get an analogy of like cars and driving and paying attention, not getting a wreck because, you know, in life, man, it's a lot of things that oppose the goodness that is planted in you. And every time you wreck, you forfeit the results that come with with what's in you if it comes out. So I would just tell people, man, man, learn how to stop uh, <laughs> being so selfish, man, and, and start thinking about the people around you. Yeah, man, with that being said, you know, 
Man, I, I, I really appreciate, uh, you know, being Blazing Creations, man, for allowing me to sit down, man, kind of like ask me some questions, be able to chop it up, talk, you know. Of course, this could be, you know, completely like, man, we could go with this thing for hours, but, you know, it's a short little something, and hopefully, um, through what being Blazing Creations does, man, y'all tune in for, 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 for deeper things, for, for more of what, you know, I, I got going on, and hopefully, uh, you know, I could help build some people up. Fix it, I deserve to get life, but by his grace, I didn't. Plus, I needed all that time to learn to walk out my repentance. I said it wasn't nothing inside. I was worried, hoping I didn't get the L. The DA wanted to serve me. I was praying for weeks. I didn't know if God heard me. I was stressing.